On October 7, 2024, the Indian Army marked a significant milestone in its modernization efforts with the rollout of its first fully upgraded T-90 Bhishma Mk-3 tank. This achievement not only underscores the Army's commitment to enhancing its combat capabilities but also highlights India's growing self-reliance in defense technology and equipment maintenance. The unveiling, attended by the Chief of Army Staff, General Upendra Dvivedi, demonstrated India's dedication to maintaining the operational readiness of its armored units. The T-90 Bhishma Mk-3 represents a significant leap in combat readiness for the Indian Army. This upgraded version incorporates advanced technologies in targeting, mobility, and survivability, making it a formidable asset on the battlefield. Some of the key enhancements include Indigenous components asterisk the T-90 Bhishma Mk-3 boasts 83% locally sourced components, including a fully indigenous V-12 diesel engine. This reduces India's dependency on foreign imports and aligns with the nation's push for self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Power and performance asterisk the tank is powered by a 1130 horsepower engine, enabling it to reach speeds of up to 60 km per hour and travel a distance of 550 km, weighing 50.7 tons. The T90 Mk3 is designed for both durability and agility, crucial for battlefield effectiveness. Armament asterisk its powerful armament includes a 125mm 2A46M5 main gun with an automatic loader a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and an optional remotely controlled anti-aircraft machine gun. The tank can carry 42 rounds of 125mm ammunition and 3,000 rounds of 7.62mm ammunition. Advanced targeting systems asterisk the tank's firepower is complemented by cutting-edge thermal sighting systems, developed by DRDO and Bharat Electronics Limited. This enables the T-90 to detect targets up to 8 kilometers away, with a laser rangefinder effective up to 5 kilometers. An automatic target tracking system ensures faster and more precise targeting, even under challenging conditions. Survivability is a critical aspect of modern tanks, and the T-90 Bhishma Mk-3 is no exception. Equipped with Contact 5 Explosive Reactive Armor ERA, the tank is well protected against anti-tank missiles and projectiles. The Saab LEDs 150 Active Protection System APS further enhances its defense against modern threats. Additionally, the tank is designed with protection systems to counter chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN, hazards. The upgrade of the T-90 Bhishma Mk-3 was carried out at the 505 Army Base Workshop in Delhi Cantonment, where the tanks were completely dismantled, and each component was meticulously examined, rebuilt, and tested. This complex process involved the disassembly and reassembly of over 200 subassemblies using advanced techniques and specialized equipment from the tank's original Russian manufacturer. The upgrade relied heavily on the expertise of the Corps of Electronics and Mechanical Engineers EME, ensuring the tank's readiness for diverse operational environments. The T-90 Bhishma tanks, initially built under license from Russia at the Heavy Vehicles Factory, HVF, in Avadi have been a cornerstone of India's armored forces since their introduction. With around 1,300 units in active service, the current upgrade program aims to extend the lifespan of these tanks and improve their performance on the battlefield. This overhaul effort also highlights India's growing independence in maintaining and upgrading its defense systems. During the unveiling, General Dvivedi praised the EME technicians for their dedication and skill, emphasizing that this upgrade is part of a broader initiative to enhance the Army's operational capabilities through local solutions. This aligns with the Indian Army's asterisk asterisk decade of transformation asterisk asterisk initiative, which aims to secure the sustainability of combat platforms while reducing reliance on foreign support. Alongside the modernization of the T-90 Bhishma Mk-3, the Indian Army is also working on the development of new equipment, including the Zorawar light tank. This tank is specifically designed for high-mobility operations in mountainous and high-altitude regions. At 25 tons, the Zorawar offers a lighter, more agile alternative to heavier tanks, making it ideal for rapid deployment in challenging terrains. The Zorawar, developed in collaboration between DRDO and Larsen and Tubro under Project Zorawar, has already undergone initial testing at the Mahajan firing range. Further trials, including missile firings, are expected to continue until early 2025, with the first units anticipated to enter service by 2027. An initial series of 354 units is planned to meet the Army's evolving operational needs. 
the rollout of the fully upgraded T-90 Bhishma Mk-3 tank and the development of the Zorawar light tank signify the Indian Army's determination to modernize its armored forces and reduce dependency on foreign suppliers. These initiatives are a testament to India's push for self-reliance in defense technology and its commitment to preparing for a wide range of operational challenges. As India continues to enhance its defense capabilities, these upgrades will play a crucial role in securing the nation's military edge on future battlefields.